Hi everyone, Brigitte here from Body of Knowledge 101 and For Your Head. Um, I'm going to be doing a series of videos on alternate hat blocks or alternate ways to make hat blocks. Um, hat block hacks, if you will. I've received a few video comments um, about people asking where they can find inexpensive blocks or um, how to make a block and that inspired me to uh, make some videos uh, on what I've tried just creating my own blocks out of simple materials. Um, when I started, um, uh, Roger was just beginning to make blocks and I didn't have access to a lot of blocks so I just used uh, found materials. Um, I've used uh, wooden vases, plastic bowls, um, balls, uh, wooden plates, um, different types of uh, foam that I found. Um, and so I'm going to share with you in this little lesson um, how I created a hat like this, kind of a little fedora style hat, using uh, simple materials. So I started with a simple, cheap hat that I found at the thrift store. Uh, it's kind of a, I don't know, regular style fedora, but uh, as an experiment, uh, I thought I would just grab this. And what I've done is I've turned it into a solid hat or a solid block um, uh, to use as a form. So um, this block is made from basically four different things, just the cheap thrift store hat. I've solidified the outside with uh, a product uh, called uh, Varathane. Put a few different coats on this. Uh, I did that first and then on the inside um, I've put uh, wood glue and basically coated it with um, uh, sawdust or wood chips. Um, again, I coated that, let it dry, and repeated that several times until the whole thing um, turned into one solid uh, block. Um, and that's what I'm going to show you uh, in this video. Um, so just a couple of things that you'll need. Um, maybe a small type of paintbrush or larger type of paintbrush. Uh, this product, uh, it's a sealer. It seals the outside from um, moisture. Uh, there's a number of different kinds of uh, varathane. Um, this is what Roger uses on his blocks. Um, basically, you'll need some uh, wood glue or white glue. Uh, easy to find pretty much anywhere. And the last thing I've used is uh, sawdust here or wood chips. Um, you can see it's kind of fine. Um, and while wood chips might not be in everyone's backyard, I'm hoping that uh, through the law of um, six degrees of separation, you're going to know someone who's got access to wood chips. Maybe they have a shop or their husband or their friend or something. Uh, and see if you can score some wood chips from them. Um, I also thought you might be able to use the uh, hamster or gerbil uh, cage environment. That's often a wood chip. And so uh, if worse comes to worse for around 10 bucks, you can get a, a bag of um, wood chips from the, from the pet store. Okay, so uh, I will show you how I do this process and uh, I did actually try out the hat block, this one that I made uh, to make this, uh, this little fedora style hat. And if you want to check that video out, I'll uh, post a link at the very end. Um, happy for your feedback and um, let's get started. So I've got the uh, hat ready here. I'm going to do the outside and with this uh, Varathane product you need to give a little bit of a stir and 
and I'm just going to paint the whole thing on. Because it's fabric, it's going to absorb quite a bit of it. So we want to make sure the whole thing is saturated. Oopsie. Guess it's good to have a little cloth here. So once I get this all coated, uh, I'll put it in a spot where it will dry nice and quickly because I'm usually want to continue on with the project. I don't like to wait if I can get another coat on. I'll do it, but you do want to make sure that the coat is dry. First coat is dry before you Add another one. Hoping to be able to get a few coats done today and then once this is hardened on the outside then I can work on the inside. Um, the process is going to be pretty much the same all the way through. So once you kind of get the drift of what I'm doing, uh, it's pretty much the same process. So feel free to jump ahead to the final result. Um, I will continue on with this. Okay, so I've got this coated in one layer of the Varathane and uh, now I'm going to let it sit uh, and hopefully in few hours, three hours or so, it'll be dry and uh, then I can put on another coat. Um, you can maybe also at this point, since it's malleable, kind of change the shape and make it a little bit your own uh, so it doesn't look like everyone's uh, fedora style hat. So, uh, okay, I will get back to you once it's dry. Okay, so this actually only took about uh, an hour to dry in a nice sunny spot, but you can see that it's still kind of flexible, so I'm going to add another coat of the Varathane right now. Okay, so I've given this a second coat of the Varathane and again I'm going to go put it in a nice place to dry and I'll give it a, another coat. Okay, so I've got two uh, coats of this Varathane on here. Uh, it's still pretty uh, soft and mobile so I'm going to put another coat on there now.
Okay, I've got three coats of the Varathane here on the outside, and it's still kind of uh, flexible, but I think it's sealed enough, so now I'm going to apply the uh, glue to uh, the inside. It's pretty much the same as applying the uh, Varathane. I'm just going to coat the whole thing, and then after that I'm going to take it um, uh, outside and I'll put the sawdust on it. So um, I'll just put the glue in right now. Okay, so I've got the uh, hat filled up with glue. Now I'm going to add some sawdust. I'm going to do it outside because it can be a little bit uh, dusty. Sprinkle it around. And I'm going to be doing this a few times. So once it's covered, I'm just going to tap off the excess. And that's kind of what it looks like on the inside here. So I'm going to take that in and I'll let it dry and then we'll do it one more time. I've let this single coating of uh, glue and sawdust uh, sit overnight till it's dry and now I'm going to add another layer of glue and another layer of sawdust. Like, it's pretty firm. Um, as I'm squeezing it, it's got a slight bit of give to it um, and the original one I did, I did about th four coats I think at least. So. Um, that's what I'll be doing now. Okay, so second layer of glue on there and again I'm going to go put some uh, sawdust in there and let it sit until it's completely dry. Okay, so I've put the second layer on of uh, sawdust and I think it looks actually really pretty good. Um, I will be letting this dry uh, for again as long as it takes and doing a couple more layers as well. So um, catch me in a bit. Okay, so I have th uh, two coats of the sawdust down here and it is really getting pretty hard. Still has a little bit of flex in the lid. The brim is getting harder 
but um, I'm going to put uh, two more coats, I think, of the sawdust on here. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so um, I'm outside now. I've got uh, this final, or not final, this third layer of glue. I'm going to do some sawdust. Here we have three coats of the sawdust. It's quite firm, but just for a little bit more stiffness, I am going to do one more final coat of the sawdust, and then I will be putting varathane on the inside. So I finally got the fourth layer of sawdust on here. It's very hard all the way around. Now I'm going to, I actually tapped it off outside and blew out some of the uh, loose sawdust that was in there. Now I'm going to coat it with varathane so no more of these chips fall out when I'm actually working on it. And then it will be done. Here we have the completed uh, faux hat block. 
um, four layers of glue and sawdust on the inside. I did three or four layers of the Varathane on the outside as well as a final layer on the inside. It's very sturdy and the only thing I might do now is take a little sandpaper right around uh, the edge here to soften that up. Um, otherwise I'm thinking it will function uh, just as good as the initial one that I made this little hat uh, out of. So again all you need is uh, a cheap little hat, that style that you think you might like. Um, I solidified the outside with some Varathane, about three or four coats. Inside uh, I used four coats of wood glue and sawdust and then finally coated that with uh, some Varathane. Um, if you'd like to see how I make this little hat or really how this uh, type of block functions, click the link below. Um, I'd be happy to know how your experiment turned out. And if you'd like to see more videos on experimental hat blocks, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any suggestions on what I could experiment with, I'm super happy for that too. Okay, thanks again and happy felting.